Hey there guys, Joshua here from Gander Flight. So I'm headed out to the lake to go for a paddle, and I want to take you along and show you how I load the canoe on my car safely and easily all by myself without any risk to damaging the vehicle. Let me show you how. So the boat loader is going to come with the top yoke, this black piece here, and then this square tubing with adjustable holes in it, and then this bottom piece. And what you're going to need to provide is the hitch receiver. So typically this is where you would install the ball for your hitch, um, but you're going to need one without a ball or take the ball off in order to install this. So you're going to drop that into the hitch, and then how it attaches this is a nut and lock washer down here, the bottom of this square tubing, and inside there is a square headed bolt. And that bolt drops down in here and rests against the sides here, and then there's a nut here to keep it in place. And now this bolt goes down into your hole, put your lock washer on, and your nut, and you tighten it up. Now this is going to be ready to receive this piece. But you then can then put the bolt through, or I got another quick clip so I could take this off and lay the tailgate down. Or when we hand it on our minivan, I could open the tailgate up. Now the only thing that the bolt mount doesn't come with that you're going to need is the actual hitch receiver. The part where you normally put a ball, you're gonna need one of those. Um, and the reason they do that is so that you can put it on whatever size vehicle you want. I can take this boat mount and I can mount it to the inch and a quarter receiver that we have on our passenger car. And I can also put it on the two inch receiver that we had on our minivan and that we have on our current half ton truck. Uh, so it makes it pretty darn flexible, but just be aware, you're gonna have to have an additional piece of equipment in order to use this. Originally it also came with bungee cord instead of a rope like I used. I just felt that the bungee cord, any bungee cord, because I used a different one as well, they're just too stretchy. They don't hold the boat tight enough and so that when you lift it up, there's just enough give that the boat slides around in that yoke and I didn't like it. So I went ahead and grabbed a hank of rope and uh, just used a trucker's hitch and temporarily tied that off because I felt like it was more secure and that's the way I've been using it for a couple of years now. I like it better. So if you got any value from this video, go ahead and click that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you're interested in finding out one of these yokes for yourself, so you can do a one man load on the car, I'll put a link to the one that I got in the description box below on Amazon and uh, consider su supporting the channel that way. If you're into DIY, check out our free group, DIYers, Tinkers, Fixers, and Makers. I'll put a link down below. And until next time, I'm Joshua and you've been watching Gander Flight. Take care and pay it forward.